Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Superwoman Wellness, where we're determined to bring you back to your superpowered self. Now, look, we've come off of what, 18, 19 months of the pandemic, trying to figure out how to keep ourselves healthy, keep our families healthy. And I've been talking a lot about the immune system. And it's a topic that quite honestly should never get old because your immune system really determines so many different aspects of your health. An underactive immune system makes us sick, right? It makes us get colds and coughs and viruses and bacteria at the drop of a hat. An overactive immune system, on the other hand, is really what leads to many autoimmune diseases and diseases of inflammation. In fact, at Center Spring MD, we're able to test whether you have an underactive or an overactive immune system and then develop the right protocol depending on which one we're dealing with. But here is the most important news of all and why I wanted to do this particular episode. Your immune system is entirely under your control. Let me say that again, because I want to make sure you catch that. You are in control of your immune system. And if you look at media headlines today or anything over the last 18 months, it makes you feel hopeless, right? Powerless, like there's nothing you can do. This bug is gonna get you and that's the end of the story. Well, it's simply not true, folks. There are so many ways to manage your immune system, support your immune system, boost your immune system, whatever you want to call it. It is within our own hands. It's on our fingertips. First of all, to understand why, you have to understand that there are two different mechanisms of immunity. There's the T cell arm of immunity. That's all about seeing that virus, alerting everybody, pumping out those cytokines and all these different chemicals, grabbing onto it, killing it, squashing it, and you're done. And then there's B cell immunity, which is a little bit different. It's a protein that's produced and latches onto the invader and hopefully takes care of that invader as well. Both of these guys are dependent on each other, but T cell immunity in particular is highly dependent on your health what your nutrients are doing, what your gut health is doing, how much you're sleeping, are your hormones balanced, and so much more. So there are natural ways to boost your immune system. There are natural ways to support your immune system, and we're gonna break it down. We're gonna work from the foundational piece all the way up, and hopefully leave you with a treatment plan to keep yourself and your families healthy through the holiday season, or honestly, any time of the year. So it starts with gut health. Almost 75% of your immune system lives right here. That's right, in the gut. What does that mean for you? Your diet matters, how you digest matters, and what you're putting into the body matters as well. We know that eating a whole foods diet, not processed foods, not foods high in sugar, helps the immune system pull out the nutrients they need to do the job that they were destined to do. We know that too many processed foods, refined foods, food dyes, additives, all of these things weaken the immune system, making it harder for them to do its work. So your food matters. Now the foods that help are really following not just whole foods, but lots of plant-based foods to get that vitamin A, vitamin C, all those great antioxidants that feed the T cells and really help them to do their job. In addition to that, anti-inflammatory foods like your healthy fats, good quality protein, keep things like blood sugar nice and stable so that again, your immune system can work at its optimal and really function excellently for you. So protein, healthy fats, plant-based foods, these are the things that really constitute a healthy immune system when it comes to good gut health. In addition to that, if you're having issues with your gut, for example, you're not going to the bathroom every day, you're having a lot of reflux, you're having maybe some indigestion, those are your warning signs that your immune system might actually not be working as well as it should. So here's what you can do. You can add on a probiotic. Ideally, we like a probiotic that has at least 50 to 100 billion units in it with a range of different bacteria. So you can add that on. You can use things like digestive enzymes that help you to break foods down into little tiny bit, bit ah, can you edit that out? Help you to break foods down into little tiny bits that then in turn help you to absorb the nutrients effectively. And then I love using something called glutamine. Glutamine rebuilds that intestinal lining, helping us to absorb the nutrients from our food. 